Hi, Terry Verts here. How do you shoot down a balloon? During my years as a fighter pilot in the F-16 Viper, I can assure you we never spent too much time asking that question or worrying about that, but today it's a big deal, so let's jump right in. There are basically three options to shoot down any airborne target. Radar-guided missiles, infrared-guided missiles, and the gun. So first, let's talk about the radar-guided missile. For US fighters like the F-16, F-15, F-18, and the modern fifth-gen fighters like the F-22 and F-35, we use something called an AIM-120 AMRAM. Uh, when a pilot shoots one, he calls out on the radio FOX-3, and these missiles cost about a million dollars each, so they're not cheap. They have a pretty long legs. Uh, we call that BVR or beyond visual range. If you're going fast and high altitude and your target's going fast, you could probably shoot them down out to 100 miles or so. Uh, but for balloons, you don't have that problem or that need. They're not moving very fast and they're not very dangerous. Uh, it sounds like so far we have not used any AMRAMs to shoot down these balloons. Another option is an infrared missile. In the U.S., this is the AIM-9 Sidewinder. Uh, and when a fighter pilot shoots one, he calls out FOX-2. Uh, they cost about $400,000 each. And AIM-9s are fire and forget, which is good. The pilot shoots it. And then you can go do what you need to do. The missile takes care of the rest. Uh, in the case of balloons, they probably make a pretty good infrared target, which is basically heat. Uh, up at high altitude, a balloon is probably a lot warmer than the open sky and cold air around it. So it sounds like so far, the AIM-9X X-ray version of the Sidewinder is the missile that's been the weapon of choice for all four so far of these shootdowns, at least according to the press. And finally, we have the good old-fashioned gun. Uh, in the F-16 squadron, we used to say that there's no kill like a gun's kill. Um, this would actually be the most cost-effective weapon. The 20 millimeter round that most of our fighter jets use is about $10 per bullet. And so the gun shoots 100 rounds a second. So for one second, squeezing the trigger, that's about 100 bullets or $1,000, much cheaper than the missiles. The problem is airplanes are pretty maneuverable around 20,000 feet. At 30,000 feet, they're not very maneuverable. And up at 40 or 50,000 feet, you don't want to be turning very much at all. Um, and so in order to shoot the gun, you have to maneuver very precisely to hit the target. And then most importantly, you have to maneuver to avoid the target after you shoot it down. And that's not something you want to be doing up at super high altitude. So far, we have not used that. And it looks like aim nines are the best tool for the job. So I'm interested in hearing what's actually going on up there. But in the meantime, these are the options that our fighter pilots have to shoot down whatever the heck these things are.